All right, welcome back. This is my Velomobile project for my recumbent trike. So I'm starting to get the side. The side's starting to shape up pretty, pretty good. Yesterday I laid out some string lines. So I put the string lines up by the cockpit and ran them straight down here to the nose. So now I know my distance for here. This eventually will be just like the Velomobile, how it goes in like this. And then they usually put an access panel right in here to get to the crank. I'll have all that. All the way <clears throat> up to the cockpit. So yesterday I worked on this all the way up. And I'm going to have the air vent right up here for the shield, just like the Velomobile has. I think it should work out pretty well. I started cutting in this body line on this side. I think it's starting to take shape. Looks pretty decent. Before I cut in those body lines, it was pretty fat. But now I'm starting to shave these down. I think eventually, this is where your toe goes. I think this will be like this up front here, you know. And then from this out to a point. That's my plan anyhow. And this was going to be my air hole. <clears throat> but now that I'm sanding on it, it's getting pretty big. So I might fill this in and do one after it's all sanded. Now you can see I've been working on this body. Every day I try and do something on it now. Every day. So this kind of stuff here, see how it's floppy? I'm gonna use that green drywall mud. It's it's supposed to be real hard and it'll be, uh, the reason I'm putting that drywall mud over this is to make a barrier from the fiberglass to the foam. I don't want the heat from the resin to eat the foam which it probably would do. So if I put that green drywall putty or mud or compound, I'm not sure what they call it, on here, it'll make a good barrier to protect the foam. You know, so I'll use that. Pretty soon I'm gonna get that stuff and fill in all these holes. It'll be all smooth. I'll sand it all nice. Put a couple layers of primer on it, wet sand it, get it smooth as glass. And then uh, the PVA, the plastic release. And then a gel coat. And then a oh, ton of fiberglass. Which is right there. I started collecting this years ago. Those bags up there, there's five bags up there full of fiberglass mat and stuff. Then we'll brace it up, some thin plywood, and make a mold. See, I'm not going to pop a body off of this. This is the buck. And then I'll make a mold off of the buck. And then once I get the mold, then I can start pumping out bodies. 
which I can't wait for that part. But, like anything you do, preparation is 99% of it. And if it's not prepared correctly, you're going to see it at the end when it's complete. And I don't want that. So I got the string lines in place to give me a guide where to sand all the way up. Obviously this piece will be gone. This will eventually go down. You know, this will be wider too. Obviously this is just the beginning. It'll go down. So when you're sitting in there and you're looking out, you're not looking up here out. You'll be looking through here out. Now I'm sure you can look regular too, but that's just what I'm going for. I'm six foot six. There's no way I would fit in a regular Velomobile. And I'm surely not spending the eighteen, twenty thousand dollars on one. It's ridiculous. I mean if you can get one, that's great. That's awesome. Here in the States they're not very popular. They're super hard to get. And there's a big shipping scam going on. Uh I heard somebody in Texas had a Velomobile shop and then he kind of did some shipping shenanigans with somebody. So now you're spending that kind of money and you're not even sure you're going to get it? There's no way. I'll build my own for less. Put a LED strip right here, and I have this piece over on the workbench. It busted off. But you can see how it comes to a point. You know, that's it's super pointy. And on the top part, I started sanding this back. Originally, I wanted this to, you know, move, go in, flow. But I'm gonna move that up here to this part to flow, and then it'll fade flat into this here. This will all be flat, both sides. You can see I started sanding this pretty aggressively. The problem I found was this was fat here on this side and skinnier here on this side, which is fine. I just gotta take down more on this side to match this side like see this part here and this part here you know you can I can get that much of my finger on it there and double it over here I just gotta the shape I'm looking for is inside of this I just have to take away enough material to get to the shape that's already in here when I built this thing, I built it fat because I wanted material to sand off to get to the right shape. I think it's really starting to come together. All right, so this is my update on the Bellmobile body for the recumbent trike, which is right here. That's the body for this trike. So if you like this video and uh, you want to watch more and follow along, please hit that subscribe button. It uh, helps me share these videos out. And uh, we're going to do a spring cleanup today and probably another trike ride tonight.